Dear brothers and sisters, last night I had a dream that a wild Russian boar was running amok. He was out of his fence, so everyone needed to watch their steps or an avalanche would occur. Then I had a dream about the rapture. This car is actually called the Radical Rapture. In my dream, I was driving along, listening to a song on the radio about marching upward to Zion and being fully released by Egypt. I suddenly felt myself going up further and further and further, carried by the complete and total love of Jesus, in whom I found complete and total peace and comfort and joy. I saw an abundance of fruit coming from the tree of life, flowing like a river. In my dream, it was as if we were suddenly at Mount Zion, where in the middle of its street and of the river on this side and on that side was a tree of life, producing twelve fruits, yielding its fruit according to each month. But also in my dream, we were trying to decide which mountain to visit, since in my dream we only had a few days, so we decided to first visit Mount Moriah. Then I saw a ram, which is an adult male lamb, carrying a sheep up the mountain on his back. I also saw a person carrying another person on his back through the snow, leaving footprints in the snow. On the mountain, we talked about snowboarding in the refreshing, clean, white snow. Jesus washes our sins as white as snow, enabling us to also ascend to Mount Zion, his beautiful city, his holy city, where we can rest. Jesus paid for us all because no one wants to pay for themselves. John 3.16 says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Once at the summit, we had a beautiful, round, community, home-style faith home style family table out in the common area for it is by grace you have been saved through faith and this is not from yourselves it is the gift of God not by works so that no one can boast so we had a community area but we all had our own condos around the mountain Jesus said, My Father's house has many rooms. If that were not so, would I have told you that I am going there to prepare a place for you? And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come back and take you to be with me, that you also may be where I am. We all had our own place. In my dream, as we sat near the water, I saw a Christ figure who was behind me, watching over me. We'd all gathered to take turns sharing Bible verses, which in my dream were on calendar photos. We did so to build one another up. And we had treasure hunts for the children around the water. And I saw one happily hold up a key, which is our Savior, Jesus. He is the word, the treasure, the key, the key to the doors of heaven. This week, a Middle Eastern looking young man walked into my office and asked me if he could promote his ministry called 316 on March 16th, which I later realized is 316, March 16th. (laughs) Back to my dream. In my dream, the final part of my dream, I saw men preparing large rectangular stones to put in the ground. First they had to dig a hole and then they had to cement the stones down so they would stay. Let us cement the cross in our hearts, dear brothers and sisters. Jesus dwells in our hearts by faith and he will never leave us nor forsake us. Let us not let our love grow cold, brothers and sisters. John 3.16 again says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, 
but have eternal life. Thank you, Jesus. Amen.